I know I said in the last video that it was up to you to manage to copy your code from the left axis to the right axis and make it work. And that's a good challenge. I hope you did it. But, you know, I got thinking right after I stopped. I'm like, this is a really good opportunity for us to talk about the replace function in Studio 5000. Because honestly, I don't use it a lot, but this is how I would do this one. First, it's going to get really garbled if we keep putting everything in the main routine. So what I think I want to do is I want to make two routines, a left axis routine and a right axis routine. Now let's go ahead and do this offline. Let's right click our main program, add new routine. And I'm going to call this my left axis. And notice down here, it says structured text. Uh, we're going to do this in ladder diagram. Click OK. And then let's right click our main program again, add new routine. And this will be our right axis. And we'll create that one. And now let's take everything that is in our main routine. In fact, I'm just going to highlight all of these. And I'm going to right click, cut rung, cuts everything out, hit our left axis. And when you open it up, you end up with this extra rung. Just hit delete on it and then right click, paste. So function wise, we're just moving this here. And now let's get our main routine because we need to get JSRs to actually run these. We're not doing any type of real complicated program control here. We're just making some folder organization for ourselves. So let's go over to our program control and we want this JSR. So bring a new rung down, JSR, and we're going to go find our left axis. And notice it puts these input parameters in. We're not actually going to use those. So just right click, remove instruction parameter, right click, remove instruction parameter, right click and remove instruction parameter. And here's a faster way. We'll do it a different way for the second one. It's just highlight the end statement and type J S R and press the enter key. And that'll actually insert the JSR without those input parameters. And now we can select our right axis. We want to do exactly the same thing on the right axis that we have here in the left axis. So let's right click all of those and we're going to copy the rungs this time. And let's go over to the right, delete that extra rung, and we're going to paste. Now this is going to get us really close, but we still got a few things here. And so everywhere we have left, we want right. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the search and then replace function. Here's what we have to be really careful of is where are we going to do this at? So where are we going to find it? Only in our current routine. What are we going to find? We are going to find left. We're going to replace it with right. And we're going to hit the replace all button. And you notice we are getting a ton of errors. Now, the reason we're getting so many errors is we need to go back and create all of our tags now. So we're just going to start at the very top because there's a few that we may need to think about. But we're going to right click our right servo on and we're going to hit new, create. And we're going to right click our right axis MSO, new, create. Notice this one is actually the .en of this one. So we don't need to right click this one. In fact, if we do, it has an edit instead. So we'll right click our MSF, create, and same with servo reset, and same with our fault reset. And we may want to talk about this wrong in a little bit, but for now, we're going to do the exact same thing. So we are going to right click our direction, create, and we're going to right click our jog, create, and we'll right click our jog speed, create, and we'll right click our stop create and right click our refine position, create, which we'll also need to do this one. And we'll also need to do the zero position. And then we have our motion axis move and that had our commanded position and right axis move to position create. All right, one thing we do need to do manually is gonna be this local column one colon O dot data dot four. We're still manually doing this wrong, but this is output five for our right one. So we'll just change that to output five. We'll change this to output five. And honestly, one reason I want to go ahead and do this is I got thinking about it. Like we, we work through so many things. There's possibilities that 
we could run into something that I just didn't even think about. So let's go ahead and download this program and see what happens. And okay, the first thing we have to do is enable our servo. So we're gonna right click, toggle that bit to get that on. And then let's go up and we'll reset our right servo. So we toggle that bit and it did reset. And finally, let's try to enable our servo. And actually, before we do that, is make sure that they're both kind of lined up the same direction because we're making that zero and we haven't put the position into this one yet. So we'll right click our servo on, toggle bit, and it enabled. So now I can grab this one and I'm feeling resistance on the right servo. And so our next thing would be to refine our position. And we have our right zero axis position here. So let's toggle that bit. And it said that that one is done. So we're ready to put a position in. And oh, okay, there you go. I made a mistake here. So since we were just flying through here, right clicking and creating this, is a double integer and I want it as a real number. So let's talk about how to fix that. Let's start a rung edit here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click that tag and we're gonna edit that tag. And then we're gonna stick a one at the end of it. And all we're doing is making this a junk tag. And we'll click okay. And then we'll double click back into that one and just backspace that one out. And now we can right click new and we'll specify a real this time, create. And now let's go ahead and finalize that. Now, if it really bugs you that we have that junk tag in there now, you can go over to your controller tags. And we don't talk about this that often anyway, but you think you could right click that tag and simply delete it, but you can't because we have two tabs down here. We have the monitor tags, we have an edit tags. We go over to edit tags. Now we can right click and delete. But now we should be ready to make a move and we're gonna make a move to one. And if we right click our axis move, then we select toggle bit, it's gonna rotate one revolution. So there you have it. That's a good example of where if we have multiple things, we can easily copy code. Just be really careful that you select where you wanna do it at. Now you're ready to learn about gearing and we're gonna gear these two together so that we only actually have to initiate one command to make the other one move and click here for a playlist about that.